Hey y'all, this is Pam again with Mesa Lance Designs, and today we're going to talk about the masking feature in Zoom Notes. <clears throat> so, here we go. Let's look at the um, left-hand side and one of the shape tools. Okay, and we get to choose whatever shape we want to use. And make sure it says border only. Now, you can turn and, um, you know, make the corner radius different. You know, you can, uh, if you click on symmetrical, it makes it a complete, you know, circle, just like right here. It makes it a perfect square. Um, right here, the number of sides, you can make it have as many sides as it'll let you. And the star is the same way. This is really cool. And I'm not sure... If you key in, you know, hmm, like maybe 40 sides, what it'll look like. So that's pretty cool. So it doesn't just stop at, you know, 20. You can key in numbers. Okay. So let's um pick a shape. We're going to start with uh, this one the uh, rectangle here and we're going to take and curve the sides just slightly okay now when you draw your shape you can have in mind exactly you know what you want to do with it so that way you can let's just say we're gonna make this a uh, label okay and so we can um bring a picture in, sorry about that, at the top um, where the little hammer tool is here at the top. You can insert a photo from different places and I just pulled these in for my photos after I, you know, got them offline. So you take this uh, shape part and you drag it <laughs> over the picture. Okay, anywhere, you know, that you want to, you know, have it masked. You click off of it, go up here and click the lasso tool, click the picture, and then you have to long click it or long hold and click other. And then you see um, where it says images, you can do different things with it. Well, this says mask image. And so your image is masked to be exactly where you want it to be. Now, if you decide to resize it, it is going to you know, take the image and, you know, change it slightly. So, sorry about that. So if you're wanting, you know, if you know a specific use for it, which I guess typically you do when you're masking an image, you can just make the exact size you want it to be. And if you use it in the future or think you will, you can always come over here to the symbols tool and then just add it and you have, you know, have it for next time the exact you know, the exact size that you want. You don't have to go through maybe resizing it or whatever. Okay, something else to note is if you make the picture, maybe not that big, make the picture, you know, bigger and you know, we're just gonna do that. We're not gonna worry about an exact size. And we tap off of it click the lasso tool, tap on the picture, long press, other, and then mask image. You have, you know, different size, the hearts are different sizes. Okay, so that's something really cool uh, to think about as well. And see these little, you know, shapes, like I said, you could always save if you uh, wanted to. Now let's look at something. Let's change shapes and look at the star feature. And we're just going to put, you know, maybe look like that. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe we'll draw it off, see what it looks like. You know what? I don't like that one as much. Let's, yeah, put a few more in there. Make it look like a little badge or whatever 
we'll try that one. Click off, click the picture. I mean, click the lasso tool, click the picture, long press the picture, other, and mask image. And there you have. Now this probably isn't the best um, background to use for the star, you know, because it looks a little different. But I mean, you can take and, you know, make anything, you know, maybe a solid color uh, background or more of a solid, maybe not so the hearts to use the star for. But I mean, really the sky's the limit with the backgrounds you want to use, the pictures you want to crop in a certain way. Um, Rebecca did a cute thing with um, her corner pages up here at the top are rounded. And so uh, she masked a shape off to the side from a picture and it looked really cute um, to have just like a, a little decoration, you know, up here in the corner. It looked really cute. So, I mean, there's lots of different things you can do with the shapes and the masking. And it's just really fun to be creative when you plan and not just, you know, set your stuff up, but you can make, you know, all kind of different things uh, within this app. And I guess that's, you know, the main reason that I love it so much is there's just so much that you can do. So um, that'll be all for now. And thanks for watching. Y'all have a good night. Bye.